Pitbull comes from the simple fact that uh, anybody that's seen the dog, I think they're misunderstood sometimes and depend on how they're raised is how they act. And how does, what, where does this entrepreneurial spirit come from? Where does this fighter come from? Where does this hustler come from? Well, it comes from, I'm a first generation Cuban American, living the American dream, broke all the chains. My grandmother was a part of the, the revolution in Cuba, you know, uh, along Castro. She was one of the first four women that was up in the mountains fighting with him. My aunt, political prisoner. My mother came over an operation called Peter Pan. She didn't get to see her family. Uh, I was at 10 years old. She didn't see her family. It was only from three to seven years again in New Jersey. And then my father, he came over because they won the lottery in Cuba. And the lottery in Cuba is real simple. It's no money. You win freedom. Take advantage of this opportunity to be in this country. Take advantage of the fact that you control your own destiny. Take advantage of the fact that you can be whatever you want to be in this country and take advantage of the fact that you have freedom. And uh, with a pit bull, it doesn't understand the word lose. I don't understand the word lose. I don't understand the word can't. I don't understand the word fail. I understand the word learn, you know? So with that situation and uh, pit bulls being illegal in Miami, I'm the only legal pit bull. <laughs> I tell people this all the time, there's no future in cool. That's a trend, that's a fad. It comes and it goes, just like dope money. Dope money comes quick and leads quicker, okay? We're here for a slow, but a for show. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Paso corto, vista larga, which is short steps, long vision. And that's what we've always implemented across the team. Well, don't, let those guys be hot. Let them be the, the biggest things in the world. Don't worry about that. We're gonna creep up on them. Say, Chico. You're so lucky, Chico. I said, man, you know what's funny? Part of our work, lucky I get. <laughs> it's really that simple. I came up with a slogan, and I tell it to my kids all the time. I say, there's no losing, only learning. There's no failure, only opportunities. And there's no problems, only solutions. So to me, what failure is, failure is the mother of all success. If it wasn't for Michael Jordan getting cut from his ninth grade basketball team, he wouldn't have became Michael Jordan. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for... Uh, I seen an, an article the other day where they were talking about Oprah Winfrey and how she got fired because she wasn't good for television. You know, you got people like Walt Disney who got fired, if I'm not mistaken, from a newspaper saying he had no imagination. I don't need to be an entrepreneur is, uh, is thinking outside the box. That I agree with 150%, but I also think it's all about an approach. And not only an approach physically, an approach mentally. Because if, if you're chasing money, it runs. All right? If you're making money, it's different. All right? So for people that, that are entrepreneurs, there's no cut in the corner. There's no magic bullet. There's no cheat sheet. It's really simple, as complex as it may sound. Hard work. Work hard. Believe in yourself. If you're always winning, then you don't really understand what it is to win. We're living in a society that's filled with instant gratification. You, you got to take those losses. You got to take those hits. There's got to be the valleys, the peaks, the ups, the downs. Yeah, because social media is a bunch of social bullshit, if you ask me. Man. And social media is a socializing what reality TV is the reality. It's bullshit. Instant, instant, instant gratification. The more you want things faster, what comes quick leaves quicker. Because it's easy money. You don't appreciate it. You don't understand it. So to me, it's not about building a business and making all this money. Yes, don't get me wrong, there's no hidden agenda here, guys. We all want to generate, I get that part. But man, the priceless part is the journey. The priceless part is all the no's you ran into, all the failures that happen, all the slip-ups, uh, uh, you know, all the times you got knocked down. That is the fun part of the story. That's why when you get in a circle of people and you're talking to them about success, and you're talking to them about what it's really like, they, they respect you and they love to be around you because you admit what it took to get there. Well, let me tell you, I love haters, to be honest with you. I show them nothing but love, and, and they're the gasoline to the fire, to be honest with you. If you're not getting hated on, you ain't doing shit right. <laughs> you need people talking about you. You need people saying, I don't like that person. Because in turn, they really want to be you. Like you said, they didn't have <coughs> a, a, the gut to go out there and do it. It's like making a record. It's not just making it, it's about maintaining it. To me, you have levels of success. You, have, you succeed as making it. Success is maintaining it. When you understand those two, then you are successful.
But people don't break down words. Me, I, I live in a, in a life constantly playing with words and finding double meanings to them and how to make something so simple but yet so genius. Well, if you break down the word suck, success, it's telling you everything. When you get to a certain level of success, you're giving people access to suck in excess. That's what success becomes. As an artist, you have a manager sucking. You have the label sucking, agent sucking, tax sucking. Then comes friends, family, everybody, one way or another, hitting you, they're hitting, they're hitting, they're hitting you. When you finally realize that that is a part of success, then you can become successful. So as an entrepreneur and everybody out there is trying to create something, uh, invent something, and be innovative, just know that it comes with valleys, peaks, ups, downs, speed bumps. I mean, you name it. That's the priceless part of being an entrepreneur. I think it's the story and the journey. First we shine the shoes, then we own the shoe shops. First we make the sandwiches, then we own the restaurants. First we clean the houses, then we own every house on the block. And then we believe in ourselves, we work hard, we take full advantage of the American dream and the opportunity, and then we end up with a Hollywood star on the block in Los Angeles. Play with it. <laughs>